Okay, let's talk turkey. So, this really uh, finds Lebowski's rug, this one does, this particular map, historical map. It, it really ties the room together because um, we're led to believe that the people who describe themselves as Jewish and Zionist Jewish uh, today, who sit on Palestine, calling it Israel, um, that they are the Khazars, originally from Turkey. And this is proof of it. They were told that they came out of Turkey, went north to the Caucasus and started up the uh, Khazaria kingdom, a very successful kingdom that ran from the Dark Ages through to the Middle Ages, around the 1300s. Um, all right, fair enough, but where is this Turkish origin? Well, it's right here in this one word, right here, Kaganate. Eastern Turkic Kaganate. Yeah, you see, the leader of the Khazars in the Khazaria in, in the Caucasus up north was the Kagan, both either female or male. And the uh, military leader was known as the uh, Beck, the Kagan, and the Beck, the Keegan, and the Beckham. And that, oh yeah, they are of, of Khazar blood, both of them. You know, you, you, you've only got to look at um, Keegan's uh, frizzy hair. Um, you know, that's like like the uh, Muslim Imam described the Khazars when he, when he met them back in the Dark Ages. He said um, they were, um, and are, of long flowing red hair, wild of aspect, and cold of demeanor. A pretty good description of them all the way through. Um, so yeah, you've only got to watch any uh, Hollywood movie nowadays uh, to see the red hair, especially on the women. It's just everywhere, you know. And I'm seeing the same faces. I'm seeing one face that looks like the other and looks like the other because the only people on screen are the Khazars. The people who describe themselves as Jewish and Zionist Jewish. Um, right. So there you go. Eastern Turkic Kaganate. There you go. That's why why the leader of, of the Khazars, the spiritual leader, was known as the Kagan. Turkic. Turkish. The Young Turks, as in Russia uh, today. Russian, RT. The Young Turks. And um, Bob Dylan talking about his Turkish origins with his long, frizzy red hair. All right, so that's, that's a slammer right there. That, that really does find Lebowski's rug. Okay, let's go through a few of these. Uh, bom, bom, bom. Right, now, the, the Neanderthal link, you have to go further back. Were they, are they, the Phoenicians? Well, the, the geography is kind of right, um, but it's a hard one to tell. It is said that the um, Phoenicians went to Turkey as well. So that, that rings a bell, eh? All right. So, yeah, possible. Um, but going back before that, you find out that, um, you know, European ne Neanderthals had ginger hair, red hair, right? That totally fits. I mean, again, the Khazar um, Zionists... Jewish people nowadays, they they label themselves with their own names uh, with, with the red hair, the Eddie Redmayne, the mane of the horse, the hair of the horse, the red mane. You know, the Robert Redford, the Emmy Rossum, um, the Tim Roth, Eli Roth, the Rothschild, the Red, 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 Gene Rosen, the crisis actor, Rosen, Red... Ruby Rose, the new uh, Israeli actress, Red Red, Ruby Rose, um, Vanessa Redgrave, um, the list is endless, uh, Sumner Redstone, uh, Rojas as well is the same, so if you see someone called Rojas, so they'll be uh, Sephardic, Khazar, uh, red-headed red manes, etc. So, yeah. The ginger Neanderthals had red hair, so here we go. Now we're getting there. They won't ever tell you this, of course. For some reason, they're not proud of their Neanderthal origins. I mean, I see no reason why not. It's quite interesting, huh? It's not something that I wouldn't. Um, I'd be quite if I was sort of like 
a Neanderthal. Oh, I, you know, that's cool. Uh, to me, that's like, oh, wow, it makes me a bit different. Well, they, <laughs> this could be the re main reason. Huh? I mean, I'm not Neanderthal in any way. I'm not one of them. Um, but, you know, they are. It does seem like it, doesn't it? And the name. How about that? And that's not the only Neanderthal name or, or Jewish name. Uh, there's ne, uh, Niederthal as well. Yep. Niederthal, Neanderthal, and Niedenthal. These are in the uh, the list of, of German Jewish surnames. There's, there's a whole bunch of them um, that read like this. Neanderthal, huh? It's a big clue there, right, right there. Huh? And why do they portray themselves as Encino Man and Ben Stiller um, as as a caveman, looking exactly like Tom Cruise? And look at that! Look at that there, right there. It's that nose at the top there that joins. And it's the same thing with that Donna. What's her name? Um, I'll find her. Oh, no, hold on, I'll find her. Yeesh. Uh, yeah, Donna Murphy, and another woman. This one that. Jewish lady who um, uses a completely fake name tries to hide her you know red main origins her Jewish origins her Kazakh origins uh, under a Irish name because of the red hair Murphy Brody Adrian Brody Sean Penn Rachel McAdams these are all I mean come on Rachel you only got to see the name Rachel. Red hair. And every single photo online of Donna Murphy is touched up. Makes her look good. But in the movie, Born Legacy, she looks weird. And I mean weird. I'm I just trying to find good images. I, I can't find a good image of her in the movie. But uh, boy, does she look weird. Um, the old, look at that. I mean, it's... Wow. Uh -huh. Yeah. And um, Rebel Rhymes was talking about the um, Jezebel thing. And yeah, I mean, it's Phoenician. It's Baal. And if you know what Baal is, Baal is a, is a Hebrew word. And the other name for um, Baal in Hebrew is Beelzebub. El. Beelzebub Baal. Hebrew, Phoenician, J spirit, Jewish spirit, you know, oh, they hide, they really hide their origins, yeah, there's definitely a Phoenician link with them, maybe they are the Phoenicians as well, and before that, of course, they are the Neanderthals, but they just won't tell you that, no way, I don't know why not, it's just no problem, you know, just to be a bit different, but this explains their separatist nature. If they are indeed a different bloodline, Neanderthal, more Neanderthal than you and me, then that would explain their separatist nature, because they know that they are Neanderthals, Neanderthals, right? A land of palms. Phoenicia was a land of palms. Well, the, you back to the date palm, which is again is the space needle. Huge date palm. It's the sh shape of the space needle in, in every way. Cybele. This is Phoenician, right? That's Cybele. That's Meaty, the, the bubble bath. Oh, yeah. As Thoughtford Watch used to say. See? There's Cybele's crown. Always featured with that particular crown. Cybele is Venus. Is Statue of Liberty, Libertas. See, Cybele, Venus, you see that there? Venus and the key. The lions. <laughs> and the ferris wheel. And that crown again. Yeah, but that's Venus right there, you see. Again, uh, Rebel Rhymes uh, pointed me to that yesterday. So, who the hell is she? Good God, she's called herself Cybele. <laughs> Sybil Danning. I was watching the old uh, movie, um, Last Picture Show, 
1971 movie with Sybil Dan Danning and uh, Jeff Bridges and Randy Quaid. Um, you know, call, dial 666 for Cybelle, why not? Yeah. But um, Sybil Danning, Cybell Danning, mm hmm. It's a good movie, that one, the you know, last picture show. They don't make them like they used to, huh? You have to go back 50 years to find a movie that's, that's made with some integrity, etc. See, I'm, again, I'm not the only person to have noticed this Neanderthal facial type, etc. Yeah? Harvey Weinstein. Yeah. Wiesenthal, Neanderthal. Yeah, they've got the Thal. They, they've got the Thal of Neanderthal in, in their names. Wiesenthal. Foxman, Lansky. All these names. Yeah. And of course, you know... You and I don't look like that. There's a Neanderthal right there. Which is very interesting to me, you know. And I was looking up Neanderthals. I mean, come on, guess what come up? Came up. My gosh. Space Needle, Seattle Force Flag, pre <laughs> predictive programming. They are back. They never left. Anyway, all right. Oh. Cut that one there. 